Hey everyone, it's James Lambert, the motivational coach and speaker. I went from knockouts to knowledge and from headlocks to hugs. I still embrace people, just now in a more positive way. So hello out there, I hope you're absolutely thriving, enjoying your life and you've woken up with great passion and enthusiasm and you're going after your goals and dreams with great self-belief. If you join me, having a beautiful cup of coffee, my favourite Mr. Man Man, Mr. Happy. Oh, life is good. Oh, So, what's been on my mind this morning, and I wanted to share it with you, was really manners and the art of politeness. Now, I grew up in the era where it was really drummed into me as a youngster. Before I went anywhere, any family, relatives' homes, any friends of my parents, it was drummed into me. Remember your P's and Q's. That's your pleas and thank yous for those of you that didn't know. And it really was so important. And I, for one, am particularly grateful that that was drummed into me because it, at times, although it was a bit, it was a bit daunting because it almost had the opposite effect. Because you know, I was like, "Oh, have I forgotten to say thank you?" And I'd drop the cutlery, I'd spill a drink. No matter. The point was, good manners instilled in me a certain discipline, a certain respect, a certain courtesy, courtesy and integrity that has stayed with me to this day. As I say, very grateful for that. And I implore you and encourage you to maintain and have your own set and own standard of manners and principles. Now this isn't about whether it's reciprocated or whether others see your manners as weakness, even if your kindness is returned. No matter. I say this so passionately because before I'd be the type, I'd hold a door open for someone. Oh, you may say that seems very kind, very gentlemanly. And yet, my goodness, if they didn't say thank you, I'd be like almost closing it on them again. So you see, that's not that's not a gesture of love. That's it's more akin to a business transaction. If you want to receive something back, it has to be done with an open heart, I suggest, or not done at all. You see, now I will gladly open doors for strangers, let people in front of me in queues, whether that be in the post office or waiting for a bus or a train. Gladly. Whether they say thank you or not is immaterial. It makes me feel good. It's the polite thing to do. And so I encourage you, if you are still, if you are a very courteous fellow or lady, more power to you, continue what, what, what you're doing. But if you have forgotten it or in your own life, no judgment as always, but if you have let your manners slip or your courtesy go or you only do it to those you feel safe around or loved ones, knowing that it will be reciprocated, I invite you to do it for perfect strangers. Again, you can demonstrate it for those of you that drive a vehicle, either a work vehicle or your own. Again, love in action. I love talking about let someone in. Let someone in in a busy road or at an intersection. Let them in. Stop at zebra crossings. Allow pedestrians to go or cyclists, whatever it may be. Use it as an opportunity to show love to others. And, and I just can't wait for you. If you haven't been trying this, before I can't wait for you to enjoy the benefits it does for you I've spoken before how the universe in its very DNA it, the win-win is built into it what do I mean by that it's as if if you go along with that if you make others feel good if you express your love if you understand this entire body is but a vehicle to express love when you do that you get showered with the most wonderful abundance with feelings of goodness and kindness, compassion, peace and love. So it's a beautiful, intricate win-win. And as I, it's a quote I'm so often uh, of using because it is so beautiful. It sums up everything I've seen since I've, it demonstrates a lot of what I've encountered, let's say, since I've begun to live my mind, my life rather, more mindfully and consciously and genuinely just loving others. And that is from Zig Ziglar, Zig Ziglar, the, one of the modern day founders and fathers of motivation. 
And he said, you know, you help enough people get what they want, you're going to get what you want. And that hearkens to what I think is the natural order of things, the win-win that I see demonstrated in nature. And so I invite you to be the politest person you know. I really encourage you, literally, whether or not you see it demonstrated in your peer group, whether or not other people think it's strange, no matter you may have not been polite before, starting now, starting today, right after you've watched this video, be the politest person you know in your home, in your workplace, in your community, in your town. Just and revel in it, revel in it, and, and, and pay no mind what others may think, or oh, what's his angle? Not a bit of it. You're doing it because you're expressing love. It's a beautiful thing to do. So, mind your P's and Q's, your please and thank yous. Express gratitude for everything, everywhere you go. Even, you know, you fill up your car with petrol. Thank you to the uh, person who took the cashier. You know, your favourite cafe or coffee shop. Look them in the eye. Say thank you. You recognise them. You honour people with your time and attention. It could be a homeless person or stranger on the street. Even if you've no money to give, my goodness. Just sometimes physical touch. A slight hand on the shoulder to look at them, man to man, or human to human, more importantly. Look in their eyes and go, I love you. And if you can't do that, some little bit of change, if not a coffee, something like that, even a, some confectionery, a sweet. Just to recognise another human being. And as I say, if you've not practised that kind of expression of love before, I cannot wait for you to try it out because my god my, my heart swelled with such joy the first time i really mindfully did that i almost wanted to burst into tears because although i was the so-called giver and the ego would the ego rather would have you believe it's a position of power and oh look at me aren't i kind not a bit of it when you just retune into love which i believe that is our essence that's where we're from that's where we return to when you do it through and with the eyes of love, you realise that that person has given you more than you have given them. In the, art, in the act, in the art of receiving, as I say, try to find out, but it's moved me quite closely to tears. And certainly when I, upon reflection, it moves me greatly because I think, my goodness, moreover, it reminds me of how blessed and, and lucky I am. Because, you know, previously I could be down in the dumps, or. Oh, I haven't got my home with the indoor pool yet. Oh, I haven't got my supercars and all all of this down in the dumps through perceived lack. And yet, and yet, I'm the most abundant man in the world. My health is my wealth. I have the love of a good wife and family. And on and on it goes. Enough to eat, a place to live and so on and so on and so forth. So when you give, you realise how much you truly have. For in the mere act of giving... You are receiving and you realise that, oh my word, I have such excess, I have such abundance, I actually have that to give away. Please, try it for yourself, it's a beautiful thing. And as I say in closing, the original point I wanted to make in this video, be the politest person you know. It's a beautiful thing, manners and courtesy will take you round the world. And again, I think it's particularly noteworthy today because it is unfortunately becoming such a rarity the man or the woman that demonstrates great manners great dignity great integrity it's becoming so unusual that it stands out now i wish it were commonplace so it was almost quite irrelevant but that's almost even an added bonus because when you are the politest person you know genuinely from the heart it's a beautiful thing people notice sit up and pay attention Moreover, you feel great, you feel wonderful. And again, as I've spoken about in one of my books, Happiness for the Soul, it is a path to joy. So I hope you've enjoyed that. As always, if you want more of the same, subscribe if you haven't to my YouTube channel. You can catch me over on Twitter, Mr. Happy 79 and check out my website, James Lambert Coaching. And you can get in touch if you're, you know, you want coached through something you're going through or just even if you want me to give you more overt advice in my role as a mentor happy to do so and of course you can book me to speak 
at any of your gigs or even one to one lots of people that get in touch obviously as my role as a life coach or mentor particularly in my role as a mentor I get to talk so you get all of the same passion I deliver in my motivational talking in a session so I hope you're well and as always never ever forget you are unstoppable and I believe in you